499, we're about to break 500 miles on the Low Rider ST. 500 miles, boom! <laughs> Welcome back to the video guys. We got a beautiful day out here in dirty Jersey. Blue skies, clear skies, high of 62 degrees today. Thank you mother nature, it's beautiful out. So I wanted to talk about this topic today. First of all, we're gonna be doing our 500 mile checkup update with you guys. What I wanna do um, is just give you an update every thousand mile that we get on this bike. Um, not really we'll do like a thousand mile then five thousand ten thousand on and on and on and forward just to give you guys a diagnostic of how the bike is doing if anything has gone wrong with it or whatever you're worried about maybe you're experiencing something on your lowrider s or lowrider st that i haven't experienced on mine yet so it'll be a good conversation to kind of comment back and forth and help each other out on these things now i gotta be honest and if you guys have been following the channel for a long time you guys know that i didn't have the best luck with the low rider s before we had a few issues there but that's in the past now anyway so that's the first uh topic of discussion right there and then obviously we're going to be talking about the braking period i've had quite a few questions already uh, a few guys have been asking me about the braking period how i break in my bike uh, asking me how you should break in your bike. So I thought it would be the perfect combination talking about the braking period, being that we are still in this braking period. Uh, we're 499 miles away now from our thousand mile service, which we're gonna be getting. Um, so let's talk about how I break in my bike. So I always tell people, I, I, I break in my bike the way I'm gonna ride it. Um, I'm not gonna baby the bike to then do my 1K mile and drive like a complete asshole if that's how you're gonna ride. I basically ride the bike now the same way how I'm gonna be riding it later on. Obviously at first we, you know, we gotta be a little careful. We can't be really beating on it too, too hard. You know, you don't really wanna live in those high RPMs as much where you are in those lower gears um that's something you obviously don't want to do the motor's brand new you kind of do want to break it in but i just don't like to baby it that that's just me that's how i break in my bike now anytime you get a new bike and you take delivery of it they're gonna tell you hey uh you know keep it under 3500 rpm you know you kind of want to baby that motor and you know you you, you should try to keep it under the 3500 rpms and those lower gears man you would that i'm not gonna tell you um i don't have my rpm short right here i just i just know when to switch i know when i'm getting up there now some of you guys must be saying right now well why are you doing this everybody knows this this content is mostly to to help out those newer riders or no riders to the Harley Davidson platform. Believe it or not, just because you're a know-it-all doesn't mean that everybody else knows it all. People have tons of questions and that's the reason why I'm doing this video. Now, during this breaking period, try to um, really pay attention to everything um, because if you do have any questions, you can bring it up to your service manager, wherever it is that you're gonna get your bike service at. Uh, I've been asking them, hey, um, you know, I'm, I'm getting like a weird bounce or a weird, a weird wobble. I'm hearing a noise. You know, just be very attentive to anything and everything on the bike um, in those first thousand miles. I'm actually heading over to uh, Tour Custom Cycles right now because we're going to be installing uh, some new shorty levers, adjustable shorty levers. So tune in for that video you guys can see what what they are and what they do and how to install levers on your bike <laughs> I love this bike this bike just brings a smile to my face I can look at her and it puts a smile on my face I get on the bike and it puts a smile on the face 
Now, if you are new uh, to the platform or if, if this is your first bike, you must be asking yourself, well, if the bike is brand new, why am I getting a service at a thousand miles? That it, it is what it is, man. That's just the way it's done. In all reality, it is pretty good because if and when there is something wrong with the bike, they can catch it early on. So when they do that service and they do that oil change, they're gonna be looking for anything that should be mixing that oil, right? Maybe some metal flakes, just anything that shouldn't be in there. Um, they're gonna be making sure that all those bolts and screws on your bike are tightened up. They're gonna be going over your tire pressure. Just, they're, they're gonna do a, a, a walk around of everything on that bike and make sure it's good. And once again, it's a perfect time to ask your service guy, service manager, hey, I have a question about this. I am hearing this. I am feeling this. That's the perfect time to bring it up. Also good to know is that your bike is under warranty right now, guys. So if anything is wrong, then like I said, talk to your service guy. Now I know I brought up the fact that something may go wrong a few times and I'm not trying to scare you. It's, you know, it, it has happened in the past. It doesn't happen to everybody. It doesn't happen that often, but it, it does happen here and there. I bought my Iron 883, brand new, had no issues with that bike. I bought my Lowrider S, brand new, um, and around 7,000 miles. I had an issue with the cylinder and the piston and it cracked and yeah, it kind of sucked. Um, and then I bought the Rogue Glide, brand new. Didn't have any issues on that bike, put 8,000 miles on it, no issues whatsoever. Um, and then the other bikes that I had were used, so I'm not gonna really talk about that. Um, but no, no issues with those bikes either. But anyways, that, that's it. I hope I answered you guys' questions today. Um, I'm really excited to get my 1,000 mile service in soon. Um, Cause after that, I'll be able to do all the work that I wanna do on this bike and put my exhaust on and do my stage two. And um, yeah, that, that's gonna be its own discussion. I can't wait for that. Um, yeah, we're here at the Torque Custom Cycle Shop, guys. Tune in for the next few videos. Like I said, we're gonna be installing the levers right now. We're gonna be installing a few other parts that are coming in. Um, just give you a quick little walkthrough of the bike as well, real quick. 2024 Harley Davidson Low Rider ST and this tobacco fade. We got the um, oh, if you guys want to save on carbon parts, we got the side covers from Black Widow Creations. I got a promo code, you could save yourself some money on there in case if you want some side covers, tank dash, fenders, whatever it is you're looking for, they got it. Promo code MK87. This bike is filthy because from the last ride that we took out to PA, it rained and it, it did a bunch of stuff and I haven't had time to clean her. But yeah, we got the uh, Clockworks 8-inch bronze color. Yes, it is bronze. Color windshield right there. Um, Baja Designs. LP6 in the front with the uh, S1s on the side for turn signals. And then we got the uh, Santoro crash bar ton of parts coming in the parts list is growing day by day can't wait to uh share it out with you guys anyways hope i answered all your questions today i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one like always let the force be with you ride safe and enjoy the ride baby peace